Vanessa Sung and I'm a PhD student in Dr. Morag Park's lab and I've been here since 2012. I was inspired to get into cancer research after my dad was diagnosed with cancer and it's probably not the most interesting origin story but I think unfortunately it's one that a lot of cancer researchers can identify with. A lot of people don't know this, but within a tumor, there are actually a lot of different types of cancer cells. So they look different and they behave differently. They perform different functions. So I work on a particular population of cells called tumor initiating cells. When you treat with chemotherapy or radiation, um, once the bulk of the tumor is gone, tumor initiating cells tend to stick around and they can hang around for uh, many years until eventually they can grow another tumor and the cancer comes back. So my work focuses on how to target um, these tumor initiating cells therapeutically. The so cancer research is a very collaborative field. We actually work with clinicians from um, local hospitals, so surgeons mostly, who give us access to patient tumor samples with their consent, of course. And so we can conduct experiments directly on the patient tissue samples so that our results can be as clinically relevant as possible. So the first thing that I would say is to live your best life by maintaining a healthy diet, exercising regularly, and staying out of the sun. The other thing I would say is to get familiar with how your body looks and feels so that if there are any changes, you'll notice early because it makes a huge difference whether you're diagnosed early or late.